Hi, Jerry Kafitz here with Omega Chemical, and I'm here to talk to you today about a battle in the war that some of you may have fought, some of you may have not fought this battle, and uh, in a way I hope you never do, but if you ever have to, I'm going to tell you how to do it, and that is the really, really tough truck washing, pressure washing, mobile washing jobs. And I, I, I have some expertise in this area because when we were in the truck washing business, we, we left the truck washing business for one account. And that account was an account with U.S. Steel in Gary, Indiana, <clears throat> a suburb of Chicago at the south end of Lake Michigan. And we got a, an account there cleaning vehicles uh, that had absolutely, positively nothing to do with truck washing. It had nothing in common with truck washing. Uh, what it was was just a whole whole different animal. The environment at U.S. Steel, Gary Works, gave a new definition to the term dirty. Um, the vehicles that are in there just have a material that adheres to them from the roads which are just always wet, always wet with black, slimy, uh, nasty stuff that just has every compound in it that you can think of and that sticks like glue to those vehicles. This gave a new definition to dirty. I believe that it's the dirtiest environment in the United States. Uh, when we first started there, the, uh, my foreman uh, walked out to the gate to get a ride at the end of his shift, which was 4 to 12, there he was at midnight, and his ride just kept driving past him, driving past him and looking at him and driving past him and he tried to wave him down and the guy, his buddy, just kept going. He finally stopped and he said, what'd you go by six times for before you picked me up? And the guy said, I thought you were a black guy. I mean, that's how dirty these guys were when they finished a shift there. The vehicles that we washed there, in many, many cases, I'll say in most cases, you could not tell what color they were. You couldn't. And not only that, but when we were washing these individual vehicles for the first time, nobody had ever gotten them clean before. So the challenge was enormous. We came in there and I told the uh, manager of, of the big facility where they uh, did the washing and, and, uh, and the, the mechanical stuff, I told them, I said, we can get these clean. And he said, you know, I've heard that before. He said, but I got to see it to believe it. He saw it the first day. He believed it. And I'm going to tell you how we did it. Because if you can do that in the world of truck washing, fleet washing, pressure washing, mobile washing, then nothing will ever scare you again. Nothing will ever slow you down. Nothing will ever intimidate you. And here's how we did it. We did it with our AB55 aluminum brightener at 10 to 1 and with a turbo nozzle. If you can't get a surface of a vehicle clean with AB55 10 to 1 turbo nozzle, there's only one alternative, and that's sandblasting, and I kid you not. And that's what they were doing on what they called their um, slab haulers, these big straddle carriers that lift 150 ton slabs of steel, uh, uh, straddle them and pick them up. Uh, they were so high you could drive a full-size pickup truck underneath them. They had never seen those vehicles clean since they were new. Never. They sandblast them and paint them every six months. We came in there and said, we can clean them. They said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we cleaned them and, and, and I mean, they were ready to kiss our feet because we just saved them so much time, so much work and so much, and so much money. And we did very well there as far as money. Uh, just on the weekends, uh, we had one truck, a uh, great big tank, uh, 1200 gallon tank of water, two machines, two guys, uh, two 16 hour shifts, four uh, eight hour shifts. And, uh, and we'd knock down $2,400, $2,800 in a weekend. That's because we had the chemicals and we knew how they were supposed to work. But mainly, it's because the chemicals did the job. The chemicals loosened what was on the surface. Now, by the way, you should never, ever have to use AB55 brightener at 10 to 1. That's getting to the point of dangerous, uh, dangerously strong. But that's what it took in this environment. And the turbo nozzles uh, really kicked it up the extra notch. We would just hit this stuff with the turbo nozzles after the brightener loosened this, this crud on the surface of the vehicle. And I would see that stuff just blow sometimes 30 feet in the air, but the surface of the vehicle was clean. We had drivers come out, look around for their truck, ask where their truck was, and we pointed out 
and they'd say, I didn't know it was that color. I thought it was this color. I didn't know it was that color. That's what you can do. That's how you deal with the really, really tough jobs. Also, our number two truck wash, used straight, is a tremendous, tremendous degreaser. You put it on a frame, you clean it with a regular nozzle, 15 degree fan tip, and that frame is ready to paint. Same with the engine. Uh, of course, the number two truck wash is designed to work at 20 to 1, and, and you hardly ever have to get any, any stronger than that. 15 to 1 if you're in a really challenging, tough situation, but that's rare, that's rare. And if you're in a degreasing uh, situation, then you may, have, you may have to go straight, but you charge accordingly. You absolutely charge accordingly. You don't ever, ever do that for a fleet wash price. So there you go. That's how you deal with the really, really tough jobs. I hope you never come across them, but if you do, this is how you deal with them. And trust me, you'll make some money. I'm Jerry Tafins.